I like the way that it looks in here. I'm not thrilled with how it looks outside. So I like the idea of having this kind of like clear and originally I was going to make it kind of like a circle, but I think I'm just going to make it a box. I think I'd rather have it be a straight up box. And I have some ideas for that, but in order to tackle it, I think we're going to have to go outside uh, top side. So the exit room is right over here and it looks kind of funky from up here. I, I did something with it. Like it's not a disaster, but it's not exactly what I want it to be. So we've got some clear glass. And I think what I want to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to just keep this clear. Probably not to there. We're probably going to end up putting a cap on this. I think I can walk across here. The one thing that is tricky with my uh, clear glass texture that I use is that it's very difficult to see where it ends and where it begins. It looks really cool, but sometimes practically it's not great. That was very, that was very close. That was very, very close. Cosmic Dancer almost got her wish. I want to have this be straight across the top like this which means this is also going to be, oh, bye-bye purple glass. It'll be there when I go, go to get it again. I think I can probably also get rid of this, get that back. And I may end up um, just putting carpet down on these. I like the fact that it's lit up. I just don't necessarily want to see the turquoise in the, in the sea lantern. So I think at this point, I have to go down and take a look and see what this might look like from below. I like the idea of the clear glass all the way down from inside the elevator. It does look a little bit funny on the outside with the purple there. I like the black line. I think what we need to do is we need to add a black thing here and maybe a black thing across the bottom to try and box it in. I want to try and keep it pretty simple. And then I don't think I want that there either. I think we're just going to keep it a straight, straight box. And we may end up adding a little bit of purple or something in there just to kind of see, but we're just going to do something simple for now. We can probably bust in from in here too. Be the easiest thing to do. Yeah, so I want this to be black and where on the bottom? See, I don't want to put it too too high because I like being able to see see out here. Hmm. Maybe maybe we put black here. Um, so right away, the black frame looks good. I like that. I think I might actually like, I think I might like to have a black line go straight across there. Plus that means that we could probably put, we could probably put the purple back in up there. I think that takes care of everything around this part. And that doesn't look too bad. You do kind of get that flash in front of you when you go down the elevator, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, so that is looking 100% tidier. I think the only thing we have to do is uh, is maybe put something on top of on top of it to hide the sea lanterns from above. But that's I mean it's industrial, but it is what it is. Plus there's these weird green things. I don't like the fact that we have to, that this thing kind of flashes before our eyes um, at the top there, but there's really not much you can do. I prefer to have purple here and clear glass here than not. I wish there was a different solution for slowing your fall than vines at that point. I guess I could put a, a bucket of water. I just don't like the splash. The vines are silent, which I think is cool. 
So right here, we need a couple pieces of clear glass. Just to kind of solidify that look. And then here, what was the weird thing that was up here that needed fixing? Oh, I see. I just wanted to cut this away. Just give it a little bit more of a, of a, I guess, cleaner edge to it. You could probably do the same thing over here, actually. Since we're up here and this end stone is abundant, we can maybe, maybe try and make this not so straight. Almost. Yes. Nice and neat and tidy and looking very, very cool. Oh, there's already torches up here. Sweet. It's already off. Well, that's fine. If that's the case, we have nothing to worry about. I just didn't want Endermen piling up while I was doing this because it was going to cause a problem. So as you can see, this little room is terrible. Like it's just, it's just, blech. there's, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. Uh, and we have some limitations because we are currently on Y level two and we can't really do much more uh, down. Uh, we also can't do much more with the Enderman because we could go up a little bit. Like we could, we could increase the height of this, uh, and then have, have the Enderman, uh, die on hoppers that are a little bit taller. Uh, so we do have a little bit of play to do what I want to do. Uh, I don't necessarily think it really is going to matter much to this farm because it's not built at the, I guess, ideal spot anyway. It's just kind of an old 112 farm that I had kind of tweaked to work with, with 113 and then now eventually 114. So I think I do want to maybe raise this up to the point where I can get the look that I want from it. But what I want to do is I want to expand this, this platform in this room. And uh, in order to do that, I have to, um, rip up the carpet. I have to place down some extra blocks and we have to do a bunch of stuff. And I'm going to grab, I think I'm going to put some stone down just because I know I've got a lot of stone uh, and I don't really care about losing it for now. Uh, same with the cobblestone. It's just going to be temporary stuff. I want to kind of map out where I need to be and what I need to have done. So I think I can get rid of this. We can move the crafting bench, put that over here. like that. And then we can just kind of knock out the wall here and start to build out into the void. And I think I only have two blocks. I'm pretty sure I'm standing on Y level two. Yeah. So I'm thinking we go out. This is three here. We need a pillar there. And then we go back one here. I've got some extra screenshots on my other monitor. Oh, I forgot about the carpet. Okay, so this will be a little bit tricky. And there is a method to my madness and you guys will see precisely what I'm up to when I get it all sorted. Eventually this is all gonna get busted away, but I just wanna kind of map out the right dimensions. So I want to have like a full enchanting station down here and I want to have room for storage, lots of room to wa walk around and then access to the back of this thing should I ever need to. So this is going to stay a certain height and it also has to have the right kind of depth to it. So if I want the enchanting table to be hidden in the ceiling, then I think I have to put it at this level, at least. 
because this is going to be slabs all the way across like this. So yeah, enchanting table would have to go on top of that plank. Where did I put that? There we go. So that we do enchanting table. And then this would be all temporary bookshelf ideas. Now, some of this might get raised up because of how I want to do the floor. So we'll have to see. But essentially, the plan is going to be to hide the full on enchanting station in the ceiling so you can't see it at all. And it'll all be hidden like this. Because this won't affect the enchanting because all the bookshelves are one block away from the enchanting table, but you won't be able to see them from down here. And then of course on the top, we'll have a, sea, uh, a roof on it. So you can't see them from the outside either. Whoops, I'm gonna have to get rid of that. It's weird, I shouldn't have used black concrete <laughs> here. I, it blends in with the void. It's very funny. So there's that. And so the, now I think the enchanting station is right here. Yes, so we can still access it. Uh, but what I wanna do is put down an extra ender chest. Do I have an extra one of those? I probably do. Utility. Yep. So I'll put one of these guys right there. Oops, not there. Again, with the black concrete, very difficult to see. So put that there and then he's just gonna float. I'm just gonna leave him floating in the middle of the room because why not? It's the end. We can have floaty stuff in here and it doesn't look completely out of place. So he's going to be right there. So you'll have ender chest, access to all your stuff. You'll have uh, enchanting, etc. The tricky part though, is that I want to have some specific lighting underneath. And uh, I think I'm going to have to raise this whole thing a little bit in order to achieve it, which is going to be tricky. So that looks pretty cool. The problem is that it's not lit. And so eventually this is going to be pretty dark. And so before I had lights down below, but I don't know of another way that we could light this up because really what we would do is we'd have to have a, like a sea lantern kind of like hovering right in the middle there. And that's not going to look great because otherwise it's going to be pretty dark in there. And I don't want to have lights in the ceiling. I, I much prefer to light this kind of stuff up from below. And that's why I wanted to add a little bit of extra height to this and maybe raise the farm a little bit. Because that way we could have the look that we want and it wouldn't really affect too much. Yep, I'm, I'm definitely going to want to light this up. I am definitely going to want to light this up. So we're going to have to do some finagling here. And we're going to have to raise the whole thing. But it's good that we're down this low because it's going to allow us to uh, to hide the sea lanterns from the outside. I didn't want to make it too purple heavy. Like I've got some some darker ideas for the walls and stuff, and there's going to be some magenta. But I think that this is going to work out pretty well. The tricky part is just making sure that it's not that there's not a lot of garbage hanging out underneath it, because I don't want there to be. Um, a lot of um, stuff to visible from like when you're down down the other end. The good news is that we don't have a giant hole in this room so that if we do want to change this glass there's not a giant void to fall into which is nice. So that's the look that I was going for. It's this kind of like cool spacey floaty thing. So what I don't want to get too carried away with is building this with all this cobble and stuff underneath it. So I want to make sure that we've got a nice clean kind of underside to everything. I don't think I'm going to have a transparent floor. I think I'm going to have a solid floor um, because it just looks a little bit better and the carpet I think might stay. 
just to kind of continue that look because we're going to have to have the carpet out here anyway. So I think that's everything as far as this particular platform is concerned. So now the tedious part is going to be to raise up, uh, raise up the floor in the middle here. So we can have this up here. Like that. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to raise up the hoppers. I'll have, um, we'll just put in some extra hoppers going along here so that it's not too much of a big deal. Well, this is very much still a work in progress, but it is going to look a lot better than it did before, I assure you. Unfortunately, that is all the time that I have. It is dinner time for me and my tummy is telling me to quit and go make some food. So uh, in the meantime, you can check out the other videos uh, on my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Twitch. It's just my name, Joel Duggan. I'm very easy to find. Uh, where else can you go? You can follow me, uh, the podcast that I do all about Minecraft at thespawnchunks.com. And I want to point you towards joelduggan.com as well. Uh, it's where I have my illustration and design portfolio. I do a lot of art streams on Twitch as well. So if you like this, you might like some of the content that you find there. Uh, unfortunately, that's going to be it for me because, you know, food and hunger and things. So thanks, and I will see everyone next time.